What's up guys, Armando Science here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the rank and rent business model, uh, also known as the local lead generation model. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know what this is, and hopefully you'll have enough information on whether you need to pursue this path or not. So rank and rent websites, what are they? Well, they work similar in the way that fiscal real estate works. So you acquire a property, and then once you acquire that property, you try to find a tenant for your property in fiscal real estate. And you make your money every month based on the rent that your tenant provides. So rank and rent websites are very similar to that. Only you're building websites or a digital web property from scratch. The idea is that you are building this website and you are positioning, you are ranking it on Google on page one. Now, once this website starts to show up on page one, people who are looking for that service, that local service, are going to then find your website and they're going to request more information, they're gonna request a quote, they're gonna request a callback, et cetera, from that website, either via a form submission or a phone call. What happens then is that your website that you own, you forward those form submissions and those phone calls to an actual legit business locally who can fulfill on that service. So essentially you are just um, a broker. You own the digital web properties and you sell leads that come in through that property to somebody who can fulfill on that work. Now, let's talk about some pros and some cons to this business model. And the reason I want to make I wanted to make this video is because I myself have done this in the past. Currently, I own an agency where we work with local businesses and we uh, provide marketing as a service done for them so that they can generate more sales and, and leads for the local business. But I've done this model in the past. And so I'm going to go into the pros of this model really quick, um, or I should say before I go into the cons. So, some of the pros of going and starting a local lead generation or a rank and rent website business is that uh, it's a very low barrier to entry. Initially, you are not um, having to worry about reporting out to clients or um, working for clients or having you know different bosses or whatever that you report to. Another pro to this is that um, you know you can take your own time you can take your own time build these out at your own pace if you only want to build one you can if you want to build 10 you can uh, that sort of thing another pro to this is that um you can make a decent amount of money per month once your start your sites start to rank on google uh even going further and selling uh, the website properties to those business owners can even give you an even more influx of revenue Another pro is that you can do this completely on the side. You don't have to quit your job if you have a day job. Um, you can use this sort of income as supplemental income. So if if you want to just build one property or two property and make an additional 200, 500 or $1,000 a month, you can do this. Another pro is that you can even scale it even further. So if you want to uh, make 10, 15,000 a month, uh, you totally doable with this model. Now. Let's talk about the cons and why you maybe uh, should consider not doing this, okay? Uh, number one, it takes a lot of time to rank a website, especially if it's a brand new website. Um, it can take upwards of three to six months in some cases if you pick the wrong niche to go after, the wrong niche, niche, the wrong niche to go after, or if you pick a city that is just like millions of people, it's gonna take you a really long time to rank that website. So you're not gonna see profits probably within the first month or two. It can, like I said, it can take anywhere between three to six months to actually rank a website uh, like this. The other part of that is that in this time, you're investing your own money, your own marketing money um, to buy the domains, to buy the hosting, to get content writing, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you're also investing a lot of time if you're building these properties out yourself. Um, the other con to that is that there is a learning curve if you've never built a website before and you've never ranked it on google there is a steep learning curve when it comes to learning wordpress when it comes to learning how to write content how to do on-page seo how to do off-page seo uh, the other con to this is that if you do shady tactics with this model like ranking the google map pack uh, which is typically reserved for legit physical local businesses. Uh, you run the risk of getting an influx of phone calls and leads to your digital properties, but Google can at any time de-index de your map listing and take you off the pack. So 
another con to that is that uh, to this model is that you think that just because you have this digital property and leads are coming in, business are going to flock to you. That's not the case. You still have to work with clients. You still have to go out and acquire these clients to go ahead and purchase the leads from your website. Um, so those are some of the reasons why you may not uh, want to start this down this path of uh, rank and rent websites. Now, I'm going to tell you what my experience was, and hopefully this will give you some information uh, and, and you can make a better informed decision. For me, when I first started this, I started this as a hobby and it was something that grew rapidly. And at some point I had several websites and each website was making at the low end about 200 bucks a month and on the high end about $1,500 uh, per month on each website that I was renting. Um, but like I said, it took me maybe three to four months to rank sites on average. Uh, and so that's what I was what I was dealing with. Um, and so if you're thinking about starting a some sort of side business or side hustle and you don't mind spending the time, you know, you have a little bit of, of money, you know, that you want to invest in in building your own digital assets. And, you know, you understand how to build websites and all that stuff. And then maybe speaking to clients is not something that, you know, scares you or is like foreign to you. Then maybe this is a good model to start off with. But if you're the kind of person that's looking for something that's going to be faster, that's going to generate revenue and a return on your investment much faster, this may not be the path for you. Either way, it could be a great opportunity for some and it could be uh, a bad opportunity for others. But hopefully this video uh, gave you enough information to sort of kind of understand the overall business model and understand some of the pros and cons of going down this path. Uh, if this is uh, something that you like, then go ahead and click that subscribe button because I'm going to be putting out more videos that are going to document and teach you the journey of uh, doing digital marketing and starting an online uh, digital business uh, on this channel.